In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of opening files, saving files, and exporting files with 3D Experience SolidWorks. Let's dive in. All right, so let's start with opening files in 3D Experience SolidWorks. First things first, always make sure that you're connected to a collaborative space. Once you're connected to a collaborative space, there are a couple of ways to access the opening tools and there are a couple opening tools. So first off, if you drop down file, you'll have open and open from this PC. And then if you come to this symbol here and drop it down, you'll have open, open from, and you may have browse recent documents as well. Uh, let's start with open from. With open from, if you open up the, it will open up your local files on your local hard drive and you will be able to choose a file that you would like to save to the platform that has already been stored on your local hard drive. So whether that is a SolidWorks file already, or it can be a step file, etc., and that will open it up. You can start working on it. And then when you're ready to save it to the platform, you can save it to the platform. You'll notice that in the task pane, this symbol will indicate that it has never been saved to the platform before, and it will need to go through that process. Now on to opening, if you select the open tool, it will open up a window in which you will have access to essentially 3D search. Uh, so if you've used the platform at all, you should be familiar with how to navigate using 3D search. This will be a tad bit different. It has SolidWorks specific filtering tools here. So you can filter things out based on assemblies or drawings at top level assemblies and parts. But other than that, it follows very much the same process. You can highlight, see information. You can sort all of these uh, results. You can change the view. You can change the settings for the search itself. If you have not, or if you're not seeing a file that you think should be there, you should just always give it a refresh. But other than that, if you're not seeing a file that has been very, very recently uploaded, like within the last five minutes or so, you can always click on this clock icon here and you can search in your recent content for anything that hasn't been indexed yet. Now you can also access open from here if you accidentally select this uh, instead of open from. You can also use the six W tags to filter your searches further. This is all part of general functionality of the 3D Experience platform, so I won't dive too far into that. That's pretty much it for opening. I can show you a quick view of the browse recent documents that will show you uh, any documents that you've had open recently and you'll be able to choose from the selection there. Uh, let's dive into saving now. Uh, there are a number of ways to access saving tools as well. Just like with opening, you can go to file and drop down. You'll have save, save with options and save to local cache. Save to local cache will be grayed out until the first time that it's been saved to the platform. So you'll only be able to do that with parts that are already saved to the platform. Now, once you open up your task pane, you can also access save tools here. With this, there are a number of ways as well. You can right click and you'll have save, save with options and replace content, replace content. What that does is that you can search through your uh, local hard drive and replace the file here. You can click this button here, which is save active window as well. And what save active window will do is it will take everything. If it's an assembly, it'll take all of the parts and all the sub assemblies in a top level assembly, and it will pop open this dialog box, save to 3D experience. And you'll be able to go through some of the settings, which I'll go through here in a minute. Now, if you were to go ahead and just click save, that will just automatically save it as is up to the platform with default settings. Save with options, you can choose to do that, whether you right click or highlight a part in the task pane and save with options. What that will do is it will let you choose specific parts that you'd like, and it will bring up the same dialog box that save active window would do. Now I'll go a little bit more in depth into this now. So here, if you had an assembly and you chose to save with options, all of the parts would be here and you'd have the option to filter out which parts you'd like to save have a status here saying if it's already been saved to the platform, it'll have notes such as part has not been modified or part, uh, it'll give you any warnings if there are any warnings or errors if there are any errors. Here we have the bookmark column and what that will let you do is if you select bookmarks, it will open up a window in which you can go into your bookmarks, choose where you want that data to be linked to in a bookmark. And you can either have certain parts highlighted before you go into that button, or you can just click to apply to all, and it will just apply to every single part that is in this save with options dialog box at the current time. If you already have parts saved to the platform, you have additional options such as new revisions, convert to the uh, 3D experience format so that you can see the graphical representation in all the other 3D experience apps, 
Now, I don't want to dive too far into every single feature. I just wanted to give you an overview so you can get started and running with 3 Experience SolidWorks. Another nice feature, though, is the release reservation after save. If you're working on data that's already been saved to the 3D Experience platform and you have it reserved and you're done working on it and you want to be done working on it when you save, just go ahead and check release reservation after save and you can click save and it will upload to the platform. Now, once something is uploaded to the platform, you'll see the status symbol that it's good to go. And now, whenever you need to access this part, you will use open and not open from. The save options can also be found here. Forgot to mention that, but it's the same options, save, save with the options. Now, the last thing that I wanted to mention was exporting data. Once you have a part saved, you can go to export SOLIDWORKS files or export as. So now that this data is on the cloud, if you want to send this file to someone else that's not part of uh, your access to your collaborative space, you choose export SOLIDWORKS files and it will act similar to a pack and go if you're familiar with SOLIDWORKS pack and go at all, or a copy tree if you use PDM at all. But if you're not familiar with either of those, what this will do is it will just export the data from the cloud onto your local system. So you'll be able to send this SOLIDWORKS file native SOLIDWORKS file to anyone else. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can choose a new title if you'd like, but you can choose where to save it. If you have an assembly, you can choose a zip file. You can add prefix to all the parts, suffix to all the parts, and then you just choose export and it will export it to whichever location you chose. Now, if you choose to export as, that will allow you to export as a non-native format, whether it's step, SDL, polygon file format, et cetera, et cetera. You see all these options here. You can choose all of these options and choose your location. That's what export as does. So that's a quick run through of how to open files, how to save files, and how to export files off of the 3D Experience platform when you're using 3D Experience SolidWorks. If you ever have any questions, we can go a lot more into depth with further videos of some of these uh, specific features, but that's just an overview. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.